Hello? Hello? Are we live? There we go. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of me just working on videos. It's a really good format for me. So I'm, I'm going to keep sticking to it because it lets me get work done, answer questions, and it's just... Honestly, it's just for my sanity. It's such a... It's such a hard series to work on just alone. Alright. So next on the list is Tin Dangles. Alright. So I'm going to start by doing a preliminary search of Tin Dangle decks. I believe they've gotten some more support recently. So that should be interesting to see. Oh no, it wasn't Tin Dangles that got new support. It was Crawlers that got new support. The Tin Dangles are still here being same old, same old bad deck. Is this new? No. Yeah. Let's see. Any decks here look interesting? Most playable Tin Dangle deck? This is interesting tech. Okay, so we're combining it with Penguins. I actually like that. That's going to be mentioned. Hmm. Target one monster you control and one monster your opponent controls. Apply the following effect on each monster, depending on its battle position. Alright. Soul and Luna is not very great. But I understand why we have to run it. Would there be better options to run besides Soul and Luna? Using my knowledge of flip stuff. I know this is really good for flips. Yeah, you dump a fiend and send from hand or deck graveyard, so the scored face on defense position. Hmm. I wonder if you could play this with Shadals. Once there's normal special summoned and now pointed to opponent. Okay. I know there were some tin dangle effects that worked in grave. Hey, your videos are great. They may, not be, they may not be going viral over and over, but I still love seeing it when you upload a new video and watching it. Thank you. I do try. I've, it's, it's been rough. The new One Piece video hasn't performed to expectations. So I just, I just have to hope it uh, does well in the search results. Hmm. How could we build this deck better? Ooh. There's, so what Tin Dangles are good at is they have a really good OTK with their Link Monster. So let's let's start by noting that we're gonna put them above Demise. Let's start with a. Uh, a bit of an insult to Tin Dangles, because they're not a good deck. <laughs> Tin Dangles are a... Are, they're another failed experiment in the long line of bad Konami flip decks. Despite the fact that they do have really good effects, you know, summoning base garden is pretty good, actually. Like, it gets, it gets value. It's a good level. This person's using it to go on the number five, Chimera Doom Dragon. Not the best level five. I don't know if he's just going for an, like, OTK thing. Hmm. It's still not a great call, in my opinion. Let's keep looking. Should we check the uh, Tin Dangle Discord for some advice? Alright, this is some weird stuff. Okay, Spirit of the Fall Wind, a very slow card here. Crawler Summer, this is the uh, the newer one. Not new, new, but newer. I don't think it was... Was it factored into the last time I did this on the tier list? I bet it's helpful starting from the worst and going up to the higher stuff. 
Uh, it's it's probably move around after recent list. Oh, one hundred percent. It's it's an intentional move. It's both more exciting for the viewers and it gives me time to not have to constantly reshuffle the top list every video. Because the modern Yu-Gi-Oh! metagame changes a lot. Like, the rogue section doesn't move as much, but any higher than that, it's crazy. Okay. So he's running. He's running a basic crawler engine. That's neat. Crawler Soma is a really good starter for this, which we're going to actually mention. We're going to ten mingles do have additional lines of extenders, thanks to both craw crawlers specifically. Crawlers are spelled with a K. That's so odd. Kind of, it kind of like trips me up. And should I have a section reiterating the problem with flip decks? How is he making? Oh, he's running. He's running the ghost trick engine. That's that's cute, actually. Yeah, he's gonna try to go into a. Rank two, thanks to the crawler engine. Hold on. You can use this card any special from your deck whose levels mount and face up or face down. Oh my god. Is Crawler Soma a one card uh, utopic F future? That's actually insane. Oh, let's, let's test this. Let's do some test stuff. If that's the case, uh, I might need to reevaluate some things. He's running this one, and which was the other one? Spine. Oh, no. And then he's also running, because he's a flip deck, so you run scared to flip him face up. We didn't. I don't know. Would Ghost Trick Scare even work? Because you'd have to flip up a Ghost Trick monster because of the minimum one requirement. Crawlic Utopic W. Yeah, one hundred percent. Absolutely crazy. Count the number of Ghost Trick. Yeah. Change that many face up monsters your opponent controls to face down defense defense position minimum one. Yeah, I don't know if that works. Okay. Uh, we need Utopic. Don't shuffle deck. And then we declare number two. Let's see. Catch up here. Do it low. Yeah, okay, so we go four. This is actually crazy. Just want to say, Skyhook could already, just wanted to say thanks for the awesome TCG videos. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot to hear how much people actually care about my videos. Oftentimes, I feel they don't have that much of an impact because the reach is really low, but it it's good to know that the people who it does reach, they really do like my videos. This video may, in fact, take a side turn because I'm realizing now that I might be able to play this engine just in Ghost Trick straight up. Oh my, this is actually crazy. This is just a good line of plays. 
Yeah, wow. And we have monsters on the field. Holy shit. The only problem with this in a Ghost Trick engine is that we have to get a face-up monster. Hmm. You know what? Do I? We're going to explain the Soma line. That, that, that makes it into the script. In this video, does it, does it have a deck profile link? No, it's too bad. Thanks to Alpha Creighton. Uh, he's, he's made it into the video. He's, oh, crazy deck list. Oh my god. I think, though, we can't move the deck up that much higher thanks to this. Okay, what else does he? Tindangle Duelinite? Du okay, the appeal of the Tindangle deck itself comes from Tindangle Dilonite. Its effect in graveyard combined with Intruder means that it can very, very abruptly put a wall of three to four flip monsters with sticky effects. Okay, so this is the card. If you control no monsters in the extra monster deck, uh, in the extra monster zone, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target three Tindangle monsters with different names in your graveyard. Special summon them in face down defense position. Huh. That is actually cur Have I been sleeping on Tindangles? Okay. No, because they're still really slow. I think we can move them up a bit in tier four, but I don't think they get much higher than like the first row or two. Actually kind of crazy though. Yeah. Yeah. Move you up over here. I feel like that's very, this is what the release of Crawler Soma. Man, I hate how Microsoft Word like makes my uh, cursor specifically disappear like this whenever I'm streaming. It doesn't do it just normally. It's literally only whenever I'm streaming. Probably some setting I'm just being, you know, too stupid to fix. But what can you do? I don't like Spirit of the Fall Wind as a tech choice here. But this list is really solid. It understands what the deck is good at and plays around it. Is Ojama the best deck tier 10 easy? It's hard to say. I mean, on one hand, the deck can search 400 cards a turn. But on the other hand, you're just searching Ojamas. So, you know, you know, tier 10, tier 10, very easy. Swayze's. Right. The penguin. So, uh, the penguin. The penguin line it sets up. Is it penguin brave? What's the uh, the synchro monster called? I think it's penguin brave, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool.
Yeah. Penguin Squire to set up for Penguin Brave. It's a really cool deck. You've got a token. Angles are another okay. We'll come back and edit that out. I'll read it, read it this to make sure it uh, reads well. And the only it seems the only good one is a uh, Jurith who just searches one. Oh, and it summons itself, too. The deck. And the deck. That was a... Crazy Link Monster. Yeah, so the main thing is uh, Tenangle Acute Cerberus. It is just a really good OTK enabler. It's going to be 3K. You link summon it with, I believe, this one. Or was it? Yeah, this one. A Tenangle Link Monster that uses this as a material. Makes three attacks, so it's just a really... That has a Crazy Link Monster. Hmm. Other bit of these guys that it's all like bad, like math jokes. These are the guys with the uh, Euler's uh, rule, right? Check real quick. Yeah. You just aggressively do math at your opponent. And they're all named after famous math equations and people who uh, pioneered the field. It's a really fun gimmick. I wish that I wish the deck wasn't a flip deck, but you know what can you get? It's Thanks to the trap to Nangle Delaunay, the deck can swarm the board from nothing. Giving access to a crazy grind game. Alright, then we do the second uh, chapter where we talk about our extenders. And then we come in one more for the problems. However, all of this is only a band-aid. To the absolute wall of us, the absolute wall of the slowness of flip effects. What up, my Namekian? <laughs> that is a terrible joke. <laughs> it did make me laugh, though. So I guess you won. <laughs> this all uh, is only the band aid. The absolute wall of a band-aid to the speed cap that is flip summoning unlike every other deck flip summoning ha has has to use a turn to set up
And like every deck, flip something has to use a turn to set up. And that's... That's just not viable. There we go. What else do we do? The deck also seems very dis like very vulnerable to disruptions. Like Soma can't stick to the field if you have if the monster uh, gets removed. Yeah, you know, that that is a problem. Yeah, actually, now that I see think about it. deck is also extremely vulnerable to disruptions. Uh, stupid. Overall, a fun deck. Held back by terrible game design. Story of Konami. That is certainly one of these spellings of summoning. Uh, turn that into a subtitle. Hit space and then give it a read. Tindangle are another failed experiment in the long line of bad modern flip decks. What? Well, the deck has... That's what that's meant to be. The deck has flip effects with solid searching and okay swarming, and the deck has a crazy link monster. Solid searching. Okay, uh, let's flip this up in the two sentences so that it reads better. The deck has flip effects with solid searching, as well as okay swarming. What really drives this deck forward is the crazy Link Monster. What really drives this deck is its crazy Link Monster that sets up for OTKs, that sets up for OTKs with Extremes. What really drives this deck is its crazy link monster that sets up for OTKs with extreme ease. Thanks to the trap to Nangle Delune, we're not going to pronounce that right ever, I think. The deck can swarm the board from nothing, giving access to a crazy grind game. Tendangles do have additional lines of extenders, thanks to both Crawlers, specifically Crawler Soma, and thanks to Penguins. Crawler Soma lets the deck make a free Utopic F0 by summoning two Crawler monsters from the deck overlaying them into ghost overlaying them into the ghost trick line for two XYZs. The penguin line sets up for Penguin Brave with Penguin Squire. You've got a ton of good options that really don't make up for the inherent problems of flip summoning. This is the say. Now this is the say is just a better way to go about this. It's a better transition from the previous paragraph. This is the say. All of this is only a band-aid. All this is only a band-aid. All this is only a band-aid to the speed cap that is flip summoning. Unlike every other deck, flip summoning has to use a turn to set up, and that's just not viable in the metagame. This deck is also extremely vulnerable to disruptions, locking you out of extenders if an opponent isn't stupid. Overall, it's a fun deck, held back by terrible game design. Story of Konami. Love seeing the behind the scenes. Hope you're feeling better about the tier list vids. I'm, I don't know, I, I think I need to just stick, like, stick with it. it. It It's hard for me to do, but I, I don't know. I don't think I have any other way to get reach. Like, let me show you some behind the scenes of my channel here. Uh, as you could see, uh, all the arrows point down, and the, the down arrows make me sad. 
Yeah. Like all all my all my content recently has just been in the gutter. It's not the worst thing ever. At least nothing's demonetized, you know. Well, what can you do? Like this one, I I I put like a week's worth of work into this one. I, I made sure everything got linked. You got really cool guides, really good like in depth combos for everything. But it's it's a niche deck profile, so it doesn't have reach. Especially since every other YouTuber is covering uh, the deck because it's you know the best, not the best deck in the game right now, but. It, there's a good chance it might be with the newest wave of support from the next set. The, uh, the Ball Store engine or whatever Konami decided to translate it as. It just sucks though, because I look at my analytics, like with this video, and it's like, alright, uh, in terms of engagement, people are watching it more for some, you know. Uh, I couldn't get click rate up though, which I, th I think that's just because... It's a weird mixture of stuff, like it's Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. People don't like blend those together super well. And some of them we're just never going to do well. Like this one, I love hat format. Everyone knows I love hat format. I put a lot of work into the video, but it's, it's hat format. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'll keep pushing hat format until someone eventually uh, tries to take up to it. It's not your fault. YouTube just doesn't want to push people who aren't pumping a million trash videos into the machine. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. It's too bad I don't do React content because then I'd, you know, gold mine. Go, go full Stevie Blunder with uh, questionable takes. But it doesn't matter if you rush them out quickly. All right, well, back to the tier list. We can try to get it out in a reasonable time. Let's see. How's the stream health doing? Stream is healthy. Okay. Wow, that was not helpful. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's next? So we move Tindangle up a bit. Heretics. Heretics have a weird... Uh, what are the meta decks in hat? Oh, you, you've asked about hat format? Of course. I would love to talk about hat format. Okay. Oh God, it's my, it's me. I got jump scared by myself. So, as you can see from the tier list, uh, the best decks in hat format are hands, artifact, trap tricks, or any variety of that really. The the modern version is um uh, card card D artifacts uh, trap tricks really good. Then it's Girgia and then uh, Mermails as the best three. There's a lot of options. It's a really cool format. It's 2014 format of Yu-Gi-Oh. Plus, it's really cheap. You don't even have to run Max C. I like your videos criticizing Konami. Thank you. Eventually, whenever I have time, I have a, a, another one that's going to do a bit of that. It'll be talking about prizing in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and how it's bad. It really, it really is just the worst. Man, I have some cringe-ass recommendations. <laughs> uh, it's some good ones. Uh, Air Gaming, uh, cool dude. Same thing with Aurum. The, the hat format friends. <laughs> Alright, back to the tier list. Heretics are a weird one. Because they, uh, they fall under the um, massive umbrella that is dragon support. And as, as we all know... Uh, Dragon Link and every Dragon deck by extension is absolutely insane. The question is, did someone care enough to build Heretics? Because it doesn't matter how good the deck is if no one uh, cares to build it. Because I can only... I'm not super knowledgeable in the, the Dragon Sphere of stuff. Oh, it looks like someone did. Let's move that to the big screen. So, a few important things to notice that I do know. Uh, Heretic Dragon King of Atum is one of the most insane dragon extenders I've ever seen. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, special summon one dragon monster from your deck, but make its attack and defense zero. And this card cannot attack uh, the turn you activate this effect. Now, the one thing uh, that's missing from this card that is very important is you could only activate this effect once per turn. So you can, in fact, make multiple and keep spamming it. 
Oh, but you know what? There's something else with this deck. Ooh, there's only uh, five, eight, six, or six. Yeah, that's how you count. Uh, there's only nine heretic cards. I think I'd give it to it because it's it's Dragon Link, and that's how you'd have to play it. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it takes her a breath of fresh air. Thank you. I I try to take time and really work on them, you know, and develop them out. So it's not just the worst thing ever. Nice. I like the bit. I like a bit the Sylvans. I want to give it a try, but sometime in the future. Sylvans are really solid as a deck, um, in hat format especially. It's weird. Uh, I don't know. I had I had a lot of trouble adjusting to hat format Sylvans. Because I, uh, Sylvans were one of my earliest decks I played in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I had, and I played them after Soul Charge was limited. So it makes it, it made it really hard to adjust to Sylvan combos with Soul Charge at 3. Because they're, they're completely different. I watched the tier list stream you were talking about. The format and detail uh, in your tier list is incomparable. Thank you. It's weird how this guy is playing one Prosperity and one Monster Gate. One Prosperity is weird. You can't do anything about Monster Gate because it's, I think, limited. What format is this? Oh. Oh, my God. I... <laughs> All right. We have some reading to do, friends. Yeah, no, this uh, this guy is... This is by uh, Pulse. I think that's how you pronounce that. English language is weird. Monster Gate is basically a erratic card. Okay, I can't use it with Hectron. Okay. This is explaining the engines. Do we have a combo guide? We do. Oh. Okay. Amazing explanation of the ratios. I think this is just... I think you do standard Dragon Link stuff. Let's see. So it's Seraphat. Seraphat adds one dragon. Yeah. You search as a... Uh, Level four. What does he search? Yeah, he searches the dark one. The dark one. Oh god, I have no I'm gonna be honest here. I'm not a, not a Dragon Link player, and I think you can tell. Was it? Wait, is it limited? Why did I gloss over that? Well, it happens, dude. It's one of those cards. that's like, yeah, you know, I guess it makes sense that's limited, but you never really think about it because it's not really a problem. Like, I have to learn this deck to play it, <laughs> to rank it. This is not what I uh, was looking at last time I tried this uh, list. Huh. Uh, it's not bad. I think the gimmick here... Okay, it's... Huh. What are you... I don't know how to play this deck, and it's kind of like, <laughs> like you know how hard it is to evaluate Yu-Gi-Oh combos when you've never like played the deck. And I don't want to. Ah, oh, fine. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do the thing. Let me let me uh link this in here. We will uh for the time being. Put our addicts right here. Uh, we'll, we'll have to fix that typo. And it's time to learn Dragon Link combos. <laughs> Bit embarrassing. Where is it? More. Uh, where is it? We're caught. We want a uh, copy YDK. There it is. Clear. YDK. Import. Okay, that's, wow, okay, you know what, we need to, I forgot I had a particular setting on that would really screw me over there. Okay. Okay, we search for Heretic. I believe this is a really good hand with Dragon Link. This is limited now, isn't it? Oh my god, it is limited, I have to... 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. Well, you can work with that, though. Uh, I think we... Oh, yeah, you Ubalian tribute to... Oh, but it has to tribute to Dark One. That changes things. Activate. Send to Grave. Normal summon. Turn chain off so we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna get this into. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. That goes into a tomb. Or we can tribute get Lubalian back, but I think we go to a tomb here. A tomb gets us any dragon monster. Pop that in grave. This can go us to any other part of the dragon link combo. You go from control off of your hand. That's not it. Do we do this? I think so. Yeah, that's going to put this in hand. Special summoning, Banis Est. Link summon and Heretic. I'm probably offending every Dragon Link player right now while I try to figure this out. I think we go, yeah, Striker Dragon. Yep. This needs a, that needs a rocket monster, monster to work. Or, is, well, yeah, we're not playing the rocket package, so we're supposed to literally just use it to set up for Pisty, and I'm... That's fine. Not terrible. We can work with that. That lets us go into Romulus. Romulus gets Dragon Levine. Have you kept up with Kuchin format at all? Now that I think about it? Well, not really. Uh, oh, that puts the, we don't want to put the belt. It's fine. We're going to discard the bellion for Dragon Ravine. Thinking about it. And I guess we add Magnumut. Mm. Yeah, Magnumut probably. What what is the point of this? Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Actually, oh my god. Oh, but the, what, what did I do wrong? You managed to carve from a graveyard, target one normal monster graveyard. Is it not in my graveyard? It's on it. I, I detached the wrong material. Oh no. <laughs> Okay. What a crazy deck. I get this Lubellion. Activate effect. Normal Spanish. Hmm. We do this. Just. Does this keep recurring? Oh. Oh. That's kind of that's kind of nutty actually. Yeah, that's going to let me draw one. It's going to give me another material. What do we go for? That's the question. Go for this. No, we go for this and then we tribute it. Then give us another. Oh my god, this deck is disgusting. I don't. I don't think this is a tier four deck. 
Holy shit. Yeah, we, we, ha we have to detach this because we just keep looping it. Five of our drama. Okay. Wow. Oh, and we the tribute somebody. Yeah, so we summon that. And then we link in the LFC. Pisty. Yeah, we do Pisty, and then we can um, make something else, maybe. No, probably actually just IP here, right? Your swarm, maybe? You know what? Considering I literally have never played this deck before, this isn't a bad inboard. <laughs> no, it's not a good inboard, obviously. But it's not awful. Uh, for the sake of uh, the flow of the stream, Konami, when designing Herotics, wants once per turn. Yeah, actually, their Searcher doesn't have once per turn. Uh, Sue doesn't have once per turn. A Tomb, well, it, it, once per turn, you know, air quotes. Oh my god, yeah, this is not a... Alright, we put it in tier 5 and worry about it later. <laughs> Uh, yep. Hello, Heretics. You, um, you get to be my problem in, like, a few weeks. Very, very bold, you know, assumption that we make it to Heretic. We make it to Tier 5 in a few weeks, but... Alright. That's fine. But no, with the, with the use of Dragon Link as an engine, uh, definitely Heretics are higher than what they were before. It's also interesting to note that this list is playing uh, Laborite Dragon as their option for a level 6 monster because it's dark so you can tribute it with Bystor Lubellion. That's that's really clever. Ah, wow. Alright, Legendary Fisherman, are you going to suddenly look at me like I'm crazy and we're going to get like some crazy deck? I'm gonna Google legendary fish. Well, oh, that'll probably get the search right. Okay. Yo, we're gonna we're gonna check out the five dollar deck. <laughs> I have to I have to know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Okay. So move this to the big screen. So we can see. Uh oh. Yeah, it's okay. Legendary Fisherman doesn't need to be visible. So this is a standard Umi control type build. Very solid. I, you can't really be that mad at this. It does its job. But it's also not a good deck. and a, It's not a full extra deck, is it? Yeah. So this one I'm not too happy with. Alright, I will come, save the $5 deck for later. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I, I like the one fish. What's the one barrier statue of the torn? Is it searchable? Okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. They have their own unexpected die. So this is a really solid shark build for it, relying on the legendary fisherman Mark Two and Three as like a towers type monster. Very solid deck. I assume Bahamut Shark plus Stealth Kragen is our win con here. Why the, the one fish? Because you can summon it with fish sonar. It's crazy. Lantern Shark. Okay, yep. Specials from the hand. Honestly, this isn't terrible. It's not good either. So the, uh, the big gimmick of fish, Legendary Fisherman is that he becomes a Towers monster. And when he's summoned, you banish all monsters your opponent controls, and he cannot be destroyed by battle, card effects, and is unaffected by spell and trap effects. So, it's not bad, 
but it it, remo- it like loses to most modern removal today. Uh, you know what would actually eat him alive? The 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 new problem card. SP Little Knight. Because it's yeah, that, I did read that correctly, right? Yeah, you can uh, cannot base directly battle card effects. You're not unaffected by monster effects. So he'll just get eaten by a uh, SP Little Knight because you just once a turn you can target uh, two face up monsters in the field, including at least one monster you control. Banish both until the end phase. So you, I actually do have to take points away from the whole strategy because SP Knight is going to be a staple staple that everyone plays that just immediately outs it. Where are we on the tier list? We're still on tier four. It's, it's going to be a while. So Legendary Fisherman, I think, stays where it is. I like this list a lot, so we're going to include it. Shoutouts to Side Deck Pal. Really competently built deck here. I do want to figure out what he's using to search Barrier Statue of the Torrent, though. You can special number one monster at least Umi and its text, or one water normal monster from your hand or graveyard. Okay. It seems like the Umi engine just uh, plays around the seven colored fish, and he's playing seven colored fish because it's cute. Huh. I'm still not sure how he gets to the uh, barrier statue and why it's not just a three of. Hmm. Soth Craig can do anything? No? Well, I'm, I'm sure there's a way to do it. It might just be a, we're running Prosperity and we'll get to it like that type thing. This thing. What do you do? Targeting protection. So close. I think they just normal it when they draw. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I just I'm trying to give them more credit than that. So, all right. Let's see. Legendary fisherman. Legendary Fisherman is another offshoot of the of the uh, overly oversized arc uh, oversized Umi archetype. That's how I would do it. Yeah, no, that's not how you spell archetype. What it offers, what it offers is a very funny towers monster in the form of the legendary. What it offers is a very funny towers monster in the form of the legendary fisherman, Mark Three. It has decent removal. Is unaffected. By spells and traps, and cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, that is wow. I have managed to like spell every word in this sentence correctly. Classic. Uh, on, on, on the face of it, this isn't terrible. Terrible. 
Well, this alone doesn't provide removal or doesn't provide enough of a win con since since it's so easy to remove remove it it's not terrible The UMI lineup of support provides additional protections as well as an additional wave of disruptions. Protections specifically targeting as well Uh, let's go into the specific disruptions. Bahamut Shark, Stealth Kragen, and Abyss Dweller are go to plays. Abyss Dweller. <laughs> oh. Bahamut Shark, okay. The deck also has synergy with a uh, water barrier statue. Solid enough to be casual, but it will definitely be eaten a lot. Eated by any. Okay. This is a really short one, but I guess it doesn't need to be long. Since the Legendary Fisherman is only an offshoot of Umi, and we can do go more into Umi as a deck later, provided Umi is on here separately. Please tell me Umi is on here separately. I'm like 99%... Oh my... Is it not? Huh. I ho I ho into the tier list files we go. Looking for Umi as a separate image. Okay. Yeah, no, we just don't have an Umi. Let's uh, go folder. I want to see... This is... This is funny. This is the file of every image used uh, in the tier list. And it, it, it gets farther. I, I started separating them when they're new. And it's just a complete mess, and I can't I can't organize the um uh, folder because it breaks the links to the tier list and the Illustrator file, so I'm just stuck with it, and so I just have to fix new stuff when it comes along. All right, let's uh get an Umi thing, and we're gonna add that separately to the tier list. The way I okay, uh, I pull all of my grep. Are you going to update the Resonators ranking with the new structure deck? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Monkey Fight. I'm here to protest the placing of Raw. As an OTK deck, it does its job super well. Well, not super, but it's tier 3 material. Uh, Raw. Raw is a bit interesting. I just... It ha it's the worst of the Egyptian God decks by, like, a lot. And I, I don't I don't really think any of the Egyptian god decks are that good. Even Scyther Slifer is only good on his own. Plus Ra did pretty well in LCS. I need proof. Do you mean Ra's spear mode? I don't believe that. Instead of Umi, should we do the Legendary Ocean? Oh, that makes more sense, actually. I, f I feel, anyway.
Mm, oh, you know what set this is from? It's from Mama! Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, had, I had to. I was cringy, I understand. But I had to do it anyway. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier list images. Save. Now, uh, in order to get the high quality graphics, I do a little cheat. And I use this site called Waifu2x, uh, which is... A site for AI upscaling images, specifically anime images, so it works really well with Yu-Gi-Oh! And that way I can kind of cheat in the 4K quality. And a really fun... Oh yeah, and, and the reason it's in German is because when you set it to German, you don't get capture images. Don't ask how many times I've used this to learn that it does this. But... It does. <laughs> Alright, we're going to slip Umi, I think, into the top of Tier 4, and we'll reevaluate it when we get there. I don't get Umi. There are like three versions of them, but you can't use more than three, even if you want to mix them up. Oh, uh, it's weird. Umi is very weird. There's like the normal monster offshoot. There is the Phantasm Spirals, which I think are probably the worst out of the three. Well, maybe, but... Uh... And then there's, like, just, like, generic, like, normal monster Umi, which is kind of based. Okay, you did not line up correctly. You know, we'll just, yeah. You know. Nope, oh, lag, lag, oh god. Is this it? Okay. Do not crash again. I cannot I cannot handle that. I have the backup. I don't want to use the backup. If, if the tier list crashes, the stream ends. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. I really don't want that to happen. The ultimate power move is when someone hits you with spear mode and you whip out a ring dragon a raw, and that was 4,000 attack. Uh, so I had a friend, uh, or I know someone, I have a friend who knows someone who, uh, had his spear mode ash blossomed in a major YCS. Cause <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> if you spear mode and then you go to, you know, in, fa in phase pass and you're about to activate it, you can't let that raw resolve. <laughs> oh. Classic. All right. Uh, let's do a rereading of the Legendary Fisherman. Make sure it's all up to standards here. The Legendary Fisherman is another offshoot of the oversized Umi archetype. What all? What it all? Eh, what is offers? What it offers is a very funny towers monster. I need a text to speech program. Is a very funny towers monster in the form of the Legendary Fisherman Mark III. It has decent removal is unaffected by spells and traps, and it cannot be destroyed by card effects. While this alone doesn't provide enough of a win con, since it's so easy to remove, uh, what, if, what if we just went... Cough. Use those funny asterisks. Cough, cough. F speed. Little knight. It's not terrible. Well, this alone doesn't provide enough of a win con, since it's so easy to remove. <coughs> SP Little Knife. Or, uh, SP Little Knife. <coughs> it's not terrible. It's not funny, but I'm going to include it in anyway. Uh, the Umi lineup of support provides additional protections, specifically targeting, as well as more disruptions. Bahamut Shark, Stealth Kragen, and Abyss Dreller are go-to plays. The deck also has synergy with, water, with the Water Barrier statue. Solid... Overall, it's solid enough to be casual, but it will definitely get eaten alive by any modern meta deck. I have a synergy with the Water Barrier statue. Alright, that's, that's a good... It's a short one. We have a deck list. We'll... Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's good. It's progress. Gear Gears. Did I cover these last time? I could have sworn I did. Let me... Oh. 
Who has added me on the Discord? Oh, um, I'll get to that later. Back to, oh, that's not it. Hold on. Nope. There we go. That As you can see, I'm very competent with technology. There you go. Oh, the fi- I forgot about this. I forgot about the $5 deck. This is beautiful. This is unplayable, but it is beautiful. Wait, I checked. There are five Umi cards. What in the name of the Herald is going on at Konami? Uh, someone decided, let's give us Umi support, and then for none of the other basic field spells. I want a mountain deck. <laughs> this is, I'm going to like this. This is great. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, you, you get, get a like, too. Get, get, a, get, a, get, a, get, a, get an emote. I missed the thumbs up. The thumbs up are better. That looks terrible. Yeah, it is terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. You know what I need to do? I want to have time. Let's see, profile. Ooh, where are my decks? Oh, I have a dedicated decks page. Uh, I, I'm going to try to post all the decks on here. I, do, I usually do it with my tier list. Not to, my other video stuff, but it, it's I think it's helpful for people uh, finding the list and like getting a white decay for it and whatnot. OMG Umi, the legendary ocean phantasm Umi. OG Umi, the legendary ocean phantasm Umi, forgotten temple, and the other one. That is crazy. Yeah. Where's my Yami deck? If anyone remembers that old field spell, all the original field spells need decks. Like. It can be an archit. Oh, is there more? No, this is DDD stuff. Well, yeah, this it'd be so cool to have a whole deck around this. All right, where was I? Gears, gear. Yeah, I was checking if gears have a. I did cover gear gear before. Oh, that's ga- That's gadgets. They're different. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Fair enough. I don't think- Have gadgets gotten anything new that would make them uh, worthy of going up a spot? Like, I don't think so, right? Also, there's another Umi that's not an Umi card. Umi Uruku. Gadgets have got nothing, lol. Wasn't Wasteland Dinos? Do they need more help? Well, it wouldn't be like Dino Dino support, but it would be like its own separate thing if it was done well. Like, it would be normal Dino support. But I, knowing Konami, they just make them all work together. Okay. Well, uh, we'll start up gadgets here. So get the problem with gadgets that might make them a bit higher than they need to be. Oh my god, I forgot they have so much. Oh, they, they work with ancient gears, which is weird. They have a cyverse gadget card. When this card is normal summon, you can target one level two or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, but its effects are negated. If this card is sent to the from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one gadget token. That's not bad. I don't know what wants it, but it's not bad. Hmm. Oh, there's so much, like, there's so many weird gadgets. I thought for a second Boot Up Corporal was its own, like, separate deck. And well, it technically it's its own archetype. I'm not counting it as one. You go under gadgets. Platinum Gadget was the, uh, what does the link do again? Okay. Yeah, if it's link summoned, you can 
Yeah. And then when it's destroyed, you get a gadget. Okay, it's just a really basic ass extender. This card is activating target any of our uh, gadget monster cards that are equipped to a monster. My god, that is niche. Do I do I have to talk about the boot up? Uh, okay. The boot up for portion of gadgets. Is this new? How come I've never seen my boot up before? If I go on TCG player and they came out like yesterday, I'm going to have a stroke. Fist of the Gat. What? When was this? What is this set? Is this just. Oh my god, this is new. Not not new, new, but like. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Who wanted this? Why is this a thing? <laughs> okay, you know, uh, this do this does warrant a change on the tier list, and it's uh, instead of just gadgets, it's gonna be it's gonna be gadgets slash boot up. <laughs> Completely forgettable. What would be an interesting way to make a field spell good? If I recall, most of the good ones are searchers. Yeah, uh, hmm. Trying to think. I think, uh, most recently, the one that I really liked was, uh, I really liked the effect of, uh, Super Quantal Mech Ship me Mega Carrier. It let you, uh, it gives you both an, a, a big, like, build up thing and it let you just continuously overlay for free and it was really cool it could also be cool to see like a fusion gate type field spell because a lot of the uh, the field spells that do do like fusion summonings only do them once as in the case of uh despian theater there's yeah despia theater the brand you just get well actually yeah no you can only use each effect once per turn and that's just it's kind of boring, you know? This Brigand's Field spell is really cool, too. What did that one do? What's the, uh... I think I know what you're, I think I know what you're talking about, but I need to refresh my, my memory. Ooh. It's... Spring Ands, not Sprite. <laughs> Let's see. Where is... Ah! Oh yeah, this one's crazy. If you control Spriggan's XYZ, you can, use, you can discard one Spriggan's card, special summon one Spriggan's XYZ monster from your extra deck. It's really cool. And then if it leaves the field by card effect, or by card effect, yeah, turn one monster opponent controls and it can't attack. Second effect isn't as good, but the, um, just getting another Spriggan's XYZ is really cool. And they attack. It's, I don't know, I feel like they could do more at this, but I understand wanting to uh, keep it under lock. Hmm. Hold on a second. Uh, let's, let's, uh, hmm. Is that, how do we, what do we do about gadgets? Hmm. Uh, I, yeah, we just leave about two different things. Uh, let's. Let's look at the previous write-up I did for them. That's that's a good place to start, actually. New folder. Scroll all the way down to the Yu-Gi-Oh! tier list. Probably part two of this kit. Ooh. Gadgets. Gadgets are a dated core for a machine deck. Although thanks to Silver Gadget, Gold Gadget, Platinum Gadget, this deck has new life as a rank 4 machine engine. Red, Green, and Yellow Gadget have a simple effect of searching another gadget when they're summoned. Basically, gadgets give you an incredibly long line of hand fodder for other engines. 
It has uh, aged well in the train support with the extra normal summons. Train support and with extra normal summon engines for some phonics. Okay, I like this core as a basic description for them. Let's, uh, I will reuse that, but then we're going to add up talking about boot sector stuff. The second effect has some funny synergy with Redoer because it triggers when any monster is banished. That's really stupid. <laughs> it's actually kind of hilarious. Where is my... There it is. Fooder. Man, okay. The deck also as well with uh, some ABC list that aren't uh, and the, some ABC list that are a bit dated. All right, how does the boot up engine work? Let's figure this out. So it's five cards. That's very minimal. When you control Gadget Monster, this card gains 2,000 attack. That's nothing. Konami needs to print orange and blue and purple Gadget. Yeah. Have you played the Bakugan TCG when it was still being supported? No, I have not. I, I did try to... Uh, there's, there's a time... And, have you ever been to a Bakugan tournament? Like, not the card game, but, like, the actual, uh, with, with the little balls? I did. It was funny. It's, it's not a, it's not a serious event, but it is really funny. <laughs> the game is not well designed. Boot up Corporal, Command Dynamo, and target up the two machine gadget monsters you control in the graveyard or different names. Summon this card from your hand. Equip those targets with this card. You can only use the effect boot up corporal uh, once per turn. That's not a terrible card effect, actually. It's pretty solid, all things considered. If you are playing a dedicated gadget deck, it is a it is an extender. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but it's. Does this only search the big one? Oh, that's so bad. All monsters can draw machine monsters. Okay, that's that's not a not it's not a real trap. Good to know. Okay, so must be special summon sent two gadget monster cards from your hand or face up from the field to the graveyard. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Well, I get it. No, this isn't good. Stop. So, if boot up order gear charge, search boot up corporal command dynamo, you would actually have a very solid play to make. Because it'd be like uh, gold gadget into like any of the uh, normal gadgets. Search another g gadget. Link into the gadget link. Activate yeah. So yeah, boot up uh, activate boot up order. Search corporal. Normal the gadget you searched off of uh, off of the previous summon with the additional normal, and you still have the additional normal, or gives you the additional normal with the link monster. And then you have a rank four and a link monster, and it's not bad actually. But it, it searches the what is the why do we need a rank eight or uh, not a level eight and uh, why do we need a level eight in gadgets? At least there's no, like, restriction. Like, the summon of this is pretty easy. But nothing else is. You have to make, uh... Gig can't X to search this. It doesn't work. 
Spin Master just gave up making Bakugan an actual game. Yeah, that's how it goes for a lot of those. Speaking of reboots, though, apparently uh, Chaotic is getting a reboot. This would be all there is to gadgets. But Konami and their infinite wisdom decided to release yet another bad top end for the engine. Boot Up is a lineup of three cards and two non five cards three which are playable these cards focus on these cards focus on using gear ge gadgets not gear I keep saying gear gears but they're gadgets These cards focus on using gadgets as equips. It's not terrible on paper, but none of the cards synergize with each other or search in the way you'd want. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Boot up Corporal uh, Corporal Meh. Is Oh wow What it Caps Boot up Corporal Command Dynamo Is a Solid extender But just Not the On the deck Me uh, it's, it's just I right, honestly Oh yeah, uh, just for the record, anyone think that uh, Boot Up should be its own deck on the tier list? Okay. This would be all there is to gadgets, but Konami and their infinite wisdom decided to release yet another bad top end for the engine. Boot Up is a line. Boot Up is a lineup of five cards, three of which are playable. These cards focus on using gadgets as equips. It's not terrible on paper, but the car but none of the cards synergize with each other. None of these cards synergize well with each other. That that because they do synergize, just not well. None of these cards synergize well with each other, or search in the way you'd want. However, boot up corporal command dynamo is a solid extender. But it's just not enough with how small the wave of the support is. However, Boot Up Corporal Command Dynamo is a solid extender, but it's just not enough with how small this wave of support is. It honestly doesn't factor in this deck's ranking at all, just to be fun to mention. It was just fun to mention. There we go. Boot Up is entirely dependent on gadgets, so it should be a gadget deck, but also gadgets have synergy with other archetypes like Ancient Gear. Hmm. I think I think the line that I'm going to draw on the sand here is there is not a single uh, dynamo card or boot up card that doesn't reference a gadget monster except for the one trap but that doesn't even reference boot up cards 
However, the Ancient Gear cards do support Ancient Gears only. You say yes, it should be separated? Hmm. No, it's, it's a, I think I think it's I think it's really close. I I I think I'm gonna leave it out as a separate thing so I don't have to go back into tier three and throw it on there. Ooh, Cypher. Uh those might have actually moved up a bit with the new uh wave of Well oh hey, no, it doesn't move up because the actual Cypher engine cards are bad. The Cypher extra deck cards crazy cypher twin raptor bad but just to be safe we'll give it a check online that's not it it's right here okay All right, it's still the same like budget. Uh, we'll, we'll check the master duel. Did I forget like a structure deck or something in master duel? Hold on. Whoa, this is some cool shit. So let's see. Let's move this to the big screen because this is this is worth your time. This is a good idea, somehow. A horse from destroy, you send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then send one horse monster from deck to the graveyard. Yep. Horse will be added to the tier list once it releases. It's going to be pretty high, but I don't know if it's meta just yet. Instead of Cypher, I heard Slifer and I got real excited. Here, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll make you I'll make it feel better. Uh, uh, we're going to do an updated section on the Egyptian gods. Uh... Boom. They are still tier two. That was mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is really mean. Yes, then we send this. Yeah. Yep. How can we use this as a way to just directly jump into our plays? Yeah, kind of nutty, actually. Hmm. So you, you lead with the... Um, you lead with the horse plays. And then you go into your cypher plays. Honestly? Okay, yeah. Huh. Honestly, pretty crazy. No, I'm fine with them being bad. It's just the um, actual extra deck monster sounds exciting. Instead of making a boring tribute engine, it's not even that good. Uh, what is this? This is a, a Cypher deck. It's Cypher's that weird offshoot of Galaxy Eyes that had like one tiny wave of support and was only good because you, you made the Cypher Dragon and the XYZ and you could immediately slap on top of it uh, better uh, decks. Let's look at some other stuff. This is a Master Duel one that made it to... How high did you get with this? That's ah, Master Duel. You can, you, can get, you can get ridiculously high with stuff in Master Duel. I'm going to show this in the deck profile. But let's see, when does Horse come out? Is that even... Oh, it's going to be a while. I think it's next month. So we will... We're going to leave Cypher where they are. Cause I don't, I don't think horse makes them that much better. And the big thing you gotta consider uh, when saying 
old support makes another deck better is it also makes everything else a little better too. Cipher. And let's well, once again cheat by using what I said before. 99% sure they're a part 3 deck. No. I think Galaxy Eyes, it's the most uh, expensive archetype. Photons, Galaxies, Cyphers, and tangentially, freaking super defense robots. That's a mad, that's madness. Yeah, oh, not expensive, extensive. They're really diverse, uh, but I think, I think they are beat by the um, uh, elephant in the room, or should I say, the hero in the room with two hundred and eighty-four goddamn different search results. Sorry, I was a little loud, but uh, yeah. And just look at them. Look at this. There's, there's, so, there's so many. Although some some of these are not uh, here. Heroes, Heroic Challengers also got thrown in here. Still, uh, there's a lot of them. So many. Yeah, I know. Alright. There's no way I got Cypher correct in like the first time. I, I may have done that. Wow. Here we are. Yep. Come on. No. Sorry, I have to mute myself. Just coughing a lot when I talk a lot <laughs> yep this is exactly the same thing when we'll add a note we'll add a note about the the horse stuff I'm gonna reformat this uh The deck does, however, have a home with the upcoming forest line of monsters. Wait, that's cheating? <laughs> Blackwing is joining the chat. How many Blackwing cards are there? Can't be that many. 79. Okay, we're not in hero levels, but if. Yeah, that's a pretty extensive one. What else is. Th How many, um, uh, fallen. We're at 41 fallen of Albaz cards. That's crazy. Like you might not say that that's not a lot, but um, this is like one of the newest decks. It's only like two to three years old. Like, at least the art's good. Jeez. And this isn't including like Despian stuff among it. Whenever Konami starts releasing the uh, the season two or, or whatever they had planned for this, oh no, don't crash. It crashed. At least it wasn't the tier list. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I should mention? Uh, we have a way to search a rank-up spell. The 
Just not curious. Uh, at least the engine can search a rank up spell. The deck does, however, have a home of the upcoming horse line of monsters. Really, any rank engine helps repair the deck. It's not great. And I'm mixed on how to tier list this. But I will at least mention it. There we go. That's fair, right? Okay. What's next? We made we done some decks today. Oh, uh, Genzo. Genzo is a weird, weird one. So it has the benefit of just automatically winning whenever you play against a trap deck. But you autom. Hmm. Is there any new machine support that would push Genzo? Gen. Gen. Genzo. Who's Genzo? Jinzo. Yo, Jinjo number seven released? When are we getting Jinjo? Or Jinzo too, yeah. Hmm. God, Jinjo, Jinzo is just such a weird mess of a deck. Jinzo Laird, uh, detach one period from this card, then target one phase of monster opponent controls. Take control of it till the end phase. Good. If a trap card is on the field, you can tribute one monster. If you do, destroy one face of card on the field. That, that's, a, that's a good extra deck monster. Trap cards on the field and their effects on the field cannot be activated. And it, it's good. Jinzo Lord, uh, same thing. And as removal, it's not good. Don't. There's one of them that was really good, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one. It special summons itself for free and tags out in the Genzo if your opponent controls a trap. It's so fun. Like, there will be a time one day when this becomes a side deck card. It'd be, I, I don't think it's soon, but I, eventually. Genzo belongs with Monarchs. It doesn't not work with monarchs. It just it's it has enough of its own support to be its like own deck on the tier list. You can search Genzo. Yeah. But they have they have a searcher. And another searcher. I believe the good one was cosmic channeling. Uh you can send one monster you control that is owned by your opponent to the graveyard. Special summon one machine monster from your hand or graveyard. Uh, the more uh, more important effect is this. When your opponent draws for their normal draw in, the, in their draw phase while you control Jinzo, you can declare one card type, monster spell or trap. Your opponent reveals the card they drew, and if it's a declared card type, they send it to the graveyard, and if you do, draw one card. This is usable and stuff. It's not good, but it is, like... You can do some funny, bad plays with this. I'm talking, uh, wow, I immediately forgot. What's the name of that bad card that flips your uh, entire deck face uh, face up? Convulsion of Nature, that's what it was. Yeah, Convulsion of Nature. You can do that with it. Uh, do some funny spiral stuff if you're insane. Ah, it's not even a bad gimmick, it's just spiral stuff. Play Spiral Gins. <laughs> and this one, Law of the Cosmos. This is, I think, the actual one I was thinking of. Your opponent can set one trap card directly from their hand or deck. Then if they did, special summon one Jinzo from your deck. If they did not, add one Jinzo or one monster that specifically lists that card in its text from your deck to your hand. 
Uh, your opponent will never let this resolve. Like, you just... You'll just get the search. But, oh my god. <laughs> if they go for the trap. <laughs> Did people try playing Jinzo during... So, during formats where decks... Like, hat format? Or was it forgotten or not good, one or the other? People have played uh, Jinzo a lot more recently than that, actually. Uh, let me... We have to... We'll do, do, do a funny search, but... I believe people have played it against, like, things like Paleo Format. Which we will... No, but I, I'm 99% sure people have played it before. In different formats. Well, what do I hear? Noble Knight deck. Oh, it's bad. Uh, yeah, let's exit that out. So Jinzo, I think Jinzo stays where it is. Well, I'm going to move Jinzo down behind Gadgets and Ciphers. Not even a big change, we're just making it. Jinzo is an anti trap deck that does just obliterate some matchups. I recall trap heavy metas having few Jinzo having a few Jinzos inside. IRC or uh, one of those formats was called Metaphos, I think. Yeah, that makes sense actually. Metal foes uh, relied on a few heavy traps to do stuff. Let me Metal Flow's counter, I think it was. Yeah, stop Metal Flow's counter in combination. Which, yeah. The only problem with this is it didn't stop the fusion spells, which they'd used to go into Alka Heist. And Alka Heist, we just equipped the Genzo. Remember Spell Canceler and... Oh, no one cares about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I got a reprint in the um, uh, Dual Devastator, right? Spell cards and their effects on the field cannot be activated. Negate all spell effects on the field. It's not bad. It's just, it's way too... It's hard to make. And, like, why would you play that when you can just go... Uh, Anti-spell. Or, you know, you know, we have more options than that. We have Secret Village. All right. And then, now, now, hear me out. This one, this one's going to just going to be a little, uh, little odd here. We have, no, it's not. Hold on. It's the wrong one. Hold on. We have, uh, this one. Obvious anti meta pick here. Talisman of Spell Searching. All we got to do is tech in a small Mesa engine. And then boom, Sky Strikers lose immediately. What are they going to do about it? I love this deck. Look, look. What's your what's your opponent going to do when you just you walk up and you hit them with the uh, where is my Mesa deck? Where is my Mesa deck? <sighs> I, I swear I have one. Uh, probably under spell books, actually. Here it is. Look, what, what's your opponent going to do when you hit them with this the, the spell book may say turbo build? And they just have to not have a single spell resolve. Play Jin's on to get those traps. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, unironically, new, uh, unironically new support with Mese. Uh You can play Hedgehog to get to him. Like it, it, it seems a bit scuffed, but you can also revive it back from the grave. Thanks to uh, Spellbook of Life, so it's a bit more of a roundabout way to do it, but it does actually work. Cause oh, where was it? You go Hedgehog, tag out, 
Uh, you get you get like this or something. You link them into Crowley, trigger Crowley effect. You get you get to search into uh, whatever you want from there. Eventually, through the spellbook engine, you get to life, revive life, and then you have another way to get to Mace on top of unexpected die. Fun fun deck. As I remember, Jinzo also being attacked against monarchs. We well, yeah, have monarchs played it too. If your opponent is playing a trap heavy deck, getting all options they have is absolutely devastating. All right, let's go back to Genzo stuff. The deck has several ways to search Jinjo, Jinjo, Jinzo, and even special uh, summon him from the deck. What does Psychic Wade do? If you control a machine monster, send one Jinzo from your hand or deck to the graveyard and flick 600 damage to your opponent. During the main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Target one machine monster in your graveyard, send one Genzo monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, add that target monster to your hand. This is bizarre. It's a weird Genzo burn spell that has some minor recursion. I do it's not good. Funny, but not good. Oh, Genzo has one of those uh, Dark Magician spells. That's neat. You better leave uh, any Jinzo mispronunciations in the video. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll do my best. How does Everlasting Alloy do? Oh, it's another. It's yeah. Oh, look at this! It's all the cards we should or all the effects we should have put on the uh, anime cards, but we forgot to because you know, Konami. I don't know, is just a good boss monster. I, I don't know what else I can say about him. Okay. Negating all options, negating all trap options they have is uh, absolutely devastating. Jinzo has a deck, has several ways to. Is there a way to search? Jinzo, and with modern Yu-Gi-Oh! support, it's very easy to establish a tribute for him. Yeah. Let's see, what else? What does this do? If, if your opponent controls more spell traps than you, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Psychic Mega Cyber once per turn this way. When this card declares an attack on an opponent's effect monster while you control, Jin while you control Jinzo, you can tribute this card, place that opponent's monster face up in a spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. Oh, that's funny. That's not good. You have to tribute him for it. He's not bad. He's just the material for Jinzo, I think, and I think that's his gimmick. But it, it's not great. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. There's several ways to search Jinzo with modern Yu-Gi-Oh! It's very easy to establish a tribute for him. Thinking. What, what am I playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Why did I just go thinking? Like, I, I have a response or something. Of course, of course I have a response. I'm writing a script. <laughs> View the Jinjos from Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> it would be cool if there was a Jinzo upgrade that flipped monsters face down. 
and was about preventing set cards and traps from activating. Is there not? 99% sure there's one of them that stops that. Trap cards and their effects on the field cannot be activated. Yeah, this one stops trap cards from being activating, but it's not exactly what you, were, you wanted. Hmm. Oh, actually, this one also says they cannot be activated. I just don't understand how Jinzo works. Very easy to establish a tribute for him. Cosmos channeling enables funny That is not how you spell shenanigans. It's very easy to establish a tribute for him. Uh, it's very easy to establish a tribute him for uh, making the engine not a neg. In more goofy support. Cosmic Channeling enables funny hand control shenanigans. Let's see. Turn to Enzo, try one short, and then was trapping by one of the effects. Ah, oh, this is kind of awkward. Mega Cyber has a quip removal. I will mention that. And the problem with all of this is is that an uh, opponent is likely not to the problem with all this is, is that an opponent is likely not to be playing a trap deck. You might get lucky with the... Oh my, playing a, oh my god, resolving a Jinzo against a Labyrinth player must be one of the most fun things. Didn't they just make a new card for monsters in the spell? They did. There's a new card that does it. Here, I'll pull it up in a bit. You might get lucky with the sparse Labyrinth or Trap Tricks matchup. But it's not. You make it like it with the Sparse Labyrinth match. With the Labyrinth or Trap Tricks matchup. Let's uh, get rid of this match. The problem with all of this is, is that an opponent is likely... No, oh, wait, where is... Yeah. The problem with all of this is, is that an opponent is likely not playing a Trap Deck. You might get lucky with the Sparse Labyrinth or Trap Tricks matchup, but it's not a dependable strategy to have to only play the game countering a specific deck. It's the same problem as with Buster Blader. Yeah, Buster Blader's actually cracked, but only if you're playing against Dragon Link and Blue Eyes. Use Monarch Stormforth and uh, Rise of the Monarch. Yeah, March of the Monarch, Jinzo. Pretty cracked, actually, yeah. Do we want to... Uh, you know what? Let's do a quick look at uh, Jinzo decks and see if anyone else has cooked anything. Hmm. 
It's always a good idea to check what other people are cooking. I... Hmm. I would love to look at... Oh, yeah. Just a, just a minor heads up thing here. I would love to look at, like, YouTube videos, but I don't, like... I feel that when I look at someone else's, like, deck profile, like, on a stream, I feel like I'd be stealing their stuff. And I'd have to, like, get permission ahead of time to do it, but... But the format of this, it just doesn't work out. This is a pretty crazy option here. Okay, so Normal Psychic Bounder. Search Law of the Cosmos. Activate Law of the Cosmos. Give our opponent... Uh, <laughs> our opponent gets to either set one or go into... Uh, or we get to search uh, our Genzo. Then we can search the Machine Menace if we wanted to. Oh! Oh my god, we're using the Bystol engine to put a branded trap face up on the field. That way we can special summon Jinzo the Machine Menace. Oh my god! <laughs> That's crazy! Whoa! The problem is... How do we get to a level 6 or higher Dark Dragon Monster? Especially now that the Bystools are limited. He's using Cast Mirage Dragon? Not a great tool. <clears throat> what do you got? Oh, this is the incredibly great Cypher list. There it is. Okay, here, here's a... Is the same deck list? No. Oh, yeah. So I think I think branded is just what you do. That's crazy, though. Buster Blader used to be an interesting... Until uh, they banned the creature. Yeah, I mean... Union Carrier gone. They could probably bring it back. But I understand why they'd be hesitant. So we're using Shadows Light... Okay. Jinzo has potential, actually. Like, the ability to buy Stool Lubelia and place a card in the um, zone actually does stuff. Like, a lot of stuff, too. Summoner Monk into Cypher. Uh, Psychic Bounder, Search Jinzo, Overlaid, <laughs> Baguska. Huh. All right, you know what? Genzo, Genzo's earning its spot in this. I'm going to add um, uh, one of the biggest plays modern Genzo can do is to use the Maestro Valion to set a face a trap from the deck. This lets the deck special summon Jinzo the Machine Menace for free. For free. That's actually crazy. Holy shit. I... Do we... Uh, should we highlight this deck even though it's a bit out of date? I think I will. Just so people have something to experiment with. This deck list is by May. Oh, it's May. May's a classic. Uh, I've used his videos a lot. Or I use his... Not videos, but his deck profiles. Like, throughout the tier list. Is the whelp not back? I'm fairly sure it's not. Let me check. The whelp main... F yeah, it is back. It is back. Yeah. Actually, it is. That makes sense. Well, I have... 
I have good news, uh, dummy the Lenny. Your deck is a full power, technically. But yeah, oh, May, May makes great decks, especially with less... Uh... <laughs> Look at me <laughs> playing a deck just to prove I'm richer than you. Fuck you. <laughs> this isn't even a... Oh, is this a new archetype? If I, if I Google this, is this good? If I, if I search this, is this going to come up with four new cards? This is, this is, this is, this is an archetype. I have to put it on the tier list now. I'm making negative progress. Wait, no, we're good. Uh, none of these cards synergize with each other. This is just random fiend support. I like watching their videos back when I actually played the game. Yeah. Match we will. Okay, uh no. This is this this is Oh my god. Alright. Where did uh what did I put maze deck? Yeah. Does this have a deck profile? It does. I'm going to Go to YouTube for this, just so I can. We're gonna wanna credit this later. Where is it? And so what I've been trying to do, by the way, is so one thing I I, I do a lot in the previous tier list series that I'm gonna try to like retcon, is I would only link the YGO Pro deck, and not the video for the deck profile itself. So in future, I'm trying to link the deck profiles that it's from, so the original creator can get uh, support for it. Because I I also do you know deck profiles linked, and it it's good, but it's not like the entire thing you really want as a creator. Was this the right one? Did I, did I link the right one? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What? How long have I been streaming? I have been streaming, well, that's not too, too long. About two hours. Uh, honestly, I'm just getting a little tired here. I'm not the best at long-form streaming. We have only covered, oh, Jesus Christ, only four decks. I feel bad. Let's see, will I be able to do another stream tomorrow? I'm trying to figure out how long this is going to take to get done, because it, it's not a... Working on the tier list is not a fast thing, especially with how long it, like, because I, I really do try to give each deck as much of a fair shot as I can. Crawlers need to move up on the list. I've just noticed that. I think, uh, bit tier list out, tier list it out. So let's, uh, let's start talking about some of my other projects we could potentially... Hmm. Do I actually do I have any other Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro or would anyone be mad if I just played one piece? <laughs> Oof. I may in fact just do that because I'm I need to test out which one we can we'll, uh So I'm going to, so I am, uh, so for those of you who don't know, I have a second channel where I do, like, smaller deck profiles. I wouldn't. <laughs> Let's see, where's my deck? Load. So this is the, uh, incredibly toxic, uh, yellow deck profile. Uh, I'm working on a list similar to this right now. Yellow is really fun. Uh, you just, you just kind of, like, late game people to death. So I think I'm actually going to play this for a bit. And then afterwards, I'll record the deck profile on my second channel. 
and I'll post it up for tomorrow, actually. Play Western format. Well, quick join. Hey, we in? Ah, Unity game does not work with F11. Okay, we're playing against Magellan. Uh, we want to go second. This hand is kind of okay, but I'd rather mulligan. Okay, yeah, uh, that, that's fine. We can work with that. Magellan is an anti-meta deck. Uh, draw Dawn. Deploy. Look at top four. Not terrible hits here. Next turn, I think we're just going to drop the blocker. Although that's... Yeah. Uh, put them in any order. Return cards to deck. And then we in turn. We can't attack because it's you know, our first turn. Let's see what he throws out early here. He's just going to go directly at life. We have the option of taking this. But I think we're just going to... We're going to go no blocker. We're going to guard this. There it is. Little Sadie into double attack. Oh, we actually... That's terrifying. Is this new? No, that's OP2. Oh, ooh. All right. Draw car, draw dawn. We're in a bit of an awkward spot here. We're, we have the guard value to handle anything he does. There's no way in hell he puts like five dawn on this and swings at me. So, and the worst comes worse, we have the blocker for it. So we're going to go attack directly into Magellan. Let's see what he does about that. Takes it. Good to know. Deploy. Throw out a blocker. In turn. Hmm. There it is. That's unfortunate. Select one Dawn to return. So Magellan is absolutely insane. Um, Dawn minus one. I have to Dawn minus one. So now I'm off tempo. That's going to... And I the KO it puts me even more off tempo. This locks me out of playing my six drop when I want to. Okay, uh, we drop no blocker. We we take this. No trigger effect. Dang it. Okay. Crawled on. Let's see. Cracker isn't bad here. Uh, Cracker's gonna let us get. We're gonna, we're gonna play Cracker probably. We're gonna swing seven at the uh, Minotaur. And my cracker. Yep. View your top life. Woo! That's really good. Place on top, leave on top. And then let's see if he guards this. He could guard this. It wouldn't be... Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Um, in turn. We w uh, if We'll take the queen. Queen is really good here for him. Queen is really good here. Okay, we take we're gonna take one hit, but we're gonna wanna There we go. No blocker. And then we're gonna guard with Struzen. Yeah, it was all the tech. Two, three, four, five, six. We're at five uh dawn. What if we take this, KO the queen, and then um, uh, we, we swing into Magellan on our turn? Yeah. Yep. And then we do have to guard this. The big problem with this play, though, is it really does mess with our like, our tempo with Dawn. We're at one, two, three. We're at seven. Okay, seven isn't bad here, actually. I think we preemptively throw down six. We'll swing. I don't want to swing seven. Just just seven into him. We swing seven and go down to five. Ooh. Huh. New play. We don't we don't KO Magellan. We're gonna it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. 
But then we'll just kind of carry it back into life, and let's just focus on board control this turn. Because we, we need we need the we need the ramp into our eight drop here if we're gonna come out of this. View your top life. That's really good. Place on top. There's no way he guard this. Guards this. He doesn't have any dawn up. Good. Do we attack with the cracker? Yeah, we'll just... Might as well throw five at life. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just gonna... This gives me some pressure. Oh! Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ooh. Dies. Unfortunate. He's not swinging at life, which I can play with, play around with. Trigger effect. Oh, good, good, good. We need that. We need that. Discard this. And... I won't have Big Mom for a while. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna need Big Mom though to get out of this, so we'll discard those two. All right, nine. If we we might need to put the king into life, which is unfortunate because I don't want to have to do that. I think I think we put the king into life, unfortunately. Yeah, because we, we can we can swing over the Magellan. It's going to hurt, but we can do it. And there's no guard value, so I'm going to put that in the bottom. And then we're going to... We're going to eat a 2k from him. Ooh, well, I guess we have to put that on top. That's unfortunate. Give me a 2k. Unfortunate all around here, but we have the uh, stat like we have we've got the lock back on him. Any unit he throws out next turn, we're gonna hit with Katakuri again. So we're in a, we're in a good spot here. We also have a 2k counter up and two more life spots. Another king, fair enough. What's he KOing? He's just throwing out a unit. That works. I'm, I'm fine with that. I can live with that. Seven to eight. It doesn't hit, though, does it? What effect does he have here? Yeah, okay. Misclick, probably. It happens. My turn, draw. Draw Dawn. We're at nine again. At the bottom of life. Put on. Ooh, keep that right there. Yep. We're getting really lucky in life, which is how we're winning this. Was that used? Ah, oh, Hell's Judgment. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, because we still want to swing, we still swing. And next turn, we start throwing down the big moms. And he has to take this. Yep. And then we... Oh, did you get a trigger? That's unfortunate. Appears to not be one he can use, though. He's at 9 Dawn as well. Blocker, fair enough. Well, no blocker. And then we're going to counter to 7k. And we are in a good spot to close out the game here. Let's, uh... We will swing with the first one, just at life. Uh, we're gonna, we're, I'm okay with him playing his kings, but I don't want him to play something random here.
Is it frozen? Oh, I'm waiting on him. Use a trigger. I want to deploy this out. Massive play here. We're going to throw five at him. He'll probably hit me with the order here. Or not. Or maybe here. This would, might be a better spot for it. It's still three cards from his hand to guard this. Thunder Baga. Yep. And in turn. Because he's... Oh, that's that's a good one. Okay, one of your opponent's characters calls a six or less, and then it has Rush. Oh, fair enough. We actually can't guard if he swung into one of our big guys. Seven at life, uh, no blocker. No trigger effect. Huge, actually. No blocker. Resolve attack. And I think we have game here. We're just going to play the big mom and then swing for game. Yep. And play this smartly. We attack with the lowest number first. No. Uh, yeah. Now it should be lowest number to play around Hell's Judgment. Okay. Yep. Oh, love this deck. <laughs> Quick drawing. This is a really good simulator for card games. I am impressed with how good it is. Oh. One Piece looks interesting, but I never watched the show. Here's the thing. <laughs> Neither have I. I just think the card game is really fun. And I have no interest in it. It's fine. The show is very mid. Uh, we will go second. We won the die roll. Uh, ooh, easy. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, let's mulligan that. Okay, that's a really interesting hand. It's good going second. Dolphy is going to try to rush us down by just playing units for free every turn. So uh, we don't have anything, so we just got to end. He's going to... What he's going to do... Oh, he, no, he's going to do that. Stack his deck. No Perona here is huge. Uh, we do guard the first attack here. There's no reason not to. Well, if we take the attack early, we can high roll into stuff, which is always funny. But it's too inconsistent to reliably do, so we're just, I think, playing it safe is probably just better. And we're gonna, yeah, let's develop into the block, well, if he block, yeah, no blocker. Let's see, any good top to, oh, we're gonna have a fun time later. We will... We'll just swing five at life and see how he responds. Give me the one card. Yep. Fair enough. Now, if he plays anything too big, we're going to Thunderbolt it. I am I'm geared up for removal here. We will... We can put up the four Dawn on our leader so he can swing for 10k and kill something, guaranteed. And he's, he's doing the big funny uh, play now. Jinbei. Oh, that's annoying. On KO, place one character top of three or less on top of the owner's deck. Uh, I don't know if I want to take this, actually. Uh, you know what? We'll do it. There we use trigger effect. Perfect. Apps. He was punished for playing the game. <laughs> Blocker Law. Really good for him, actually. Okay. We don't have much of a play outside of putting Dawn and swinging at the Jinbei. 
So that's what we're going to do. Let's see, four cards in hand. Do we want to... No, no point. That's eight. Uh, we can eat a blocker out guaranteed here. I think I think we'll just we'll just waste a, make him waste a blocker. Do your top life place on bottom actually. All right, show me the blocker. Yep. Very fair. And now we're gonna do something very stupid and very silly. He might actually drop two to guard. Yep. Now I'm actually okay with what he's doing. What, what, what we're doing here, because either way, he's still going to attack the blocker, and it's going to do its job. And it's something he has to put enough dawn on to where I can't guard it. I'm in a very comfy spot here. Yep, there it is. He's going to throw it out my blocker. <laughs> There's no way he doesn't. Well, I think we lucked out a bit because he didn't draw into any of his top. Is this game like Vanguard? Not really, but I am playing the, uh, the, the Saki deck. That's all about playing like triggers. Yep, he has to do this. No blocker. Do we have any hope of guarding? Resolve attack. No, resolve the attack. Oh, neat. We actually... Hold on. Are you at... Is it four life, actually? One, two, three, four. That's five, though. Probably a glitch. But we, we cannot use Katakuri skill unless uh and that as a you can't go to six, he's I think he's locked at five. We'll probably throw it out because we need a body. And just yeet the blocker. Ooh. Oh, one, two, three, four, eight. Yeah, we'll, we'll attack life and see if we can eat a card out. He might just take it, though. If he takes it, though, he's misplaying. Yep. Unfortunate here. So you can do that. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Next turn, we start big momming him. And because we're so, so far ahead here, you'll have to play through triggers. Yep. Do it live. I have every intention of taking this. Free blocker. Only six. You need you need to swing at least seven. He's okay. If he's thinking about this this hard, he has a five drop he wants to play. What five drop could he play? Usually it's all four drops because he only plays around four. What's in? It might just be a 5-7 normal. Uh, that could be a thing. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, 
we do have to take this, unfortunately. No trigger effect, unfortunate. Good guard value, good guard value, we're at 10. Let's just eat away at some of the cards from his board. He's going to guard this 100%. He's blue. Yep. And let's get rid of the bigger number. He may guard this. If he does, I'm 100% okay with it. Wait, deploy. And in turn. Just going, going like, he goes minus one, I go plus two. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll record a deck profile for this tonight. Uh, because we can, we do guard this. We, uh, no blocker. It's important to guard when you can. And now, now I wipe his board next. I wipe his board next turn. Gum gum. Oh, okay. Sure. You have to guard this. Yep. And I have to kill that. There's no way you have to. Yeah. Drop another big mom. Just burning cards away. Did we get lucky and get another thousand swords out? Oh my god, that's crazy, actually. Wouldn't have done anything, but... And then we can uh, potentially Thunderbolt plus Katakuri here. Huge, huge. What is he? What is up his sleeve? His worst case scenario right now is we have another uh, big mom life, which we don't, but he doesn't know that. Okay, blocker. Fair enough. Nothing wrong with a blocker. He's going to stack the top three cards of his deck. I think he wants to go into another Gecko Morio to potentially return some more guard value or something in the hand. You also fetch out another uh, blocker, but it won't matter because it will come in rested. He... Uh. He needs another, uh, the big removal spell, Gum Gum, uh, King, uh, King Kong, Gum Gum Red Rock. That would out the Big Mom for at least now. Oh, shoot. All right, we're, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing big boy plays. Boa, okay, yeah. I block. Ooh! Five to five. Uh, we don't let this resolve. No blocker. Blocker Sanji, really good here. Let's see. We have two Dawn up. One blocker, or we can get rid of one blocker. We deploy. This has no guard value, so or yeah, so I'm gonna add that to the bottom, and then we're going to swing. We're gonna eat out the first blocker. Uh, 
And we just keep him in this constant state of not being able to play anything. Okay, he took that. That was good. Uh, we could out... Eh. I'd rather not use Thunderbolt if I don't have to. Be your life. Place on bottom, and we'll have guard value for later. We just keep him in this constant state of not being able to do anything. You know where her life is. is he, he's going to be dependent on whatever top decks he gets from this eventually. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna kill the big mom. Nine, that's fourteen. Uh this will work. No blocker. That's it, huh? Alright, Struson. Kill, got it. We'll <laughs> We will just keep on keeping on here. And then Be your top life, leave on top. Yep, and then in turn. We're in a good spot. Really good spot. If he does actually develop anything we're terrified of, we have Thunderbolt. Kaya, he's trying to get out of it. Discord Mihawk and another Kaya. Kaya is like one of the best one drops. It's 2k counter and it's hand fixing. Just insane. Only three. That's a misplay. Oh, he's playing... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's see what we can get here. Not actually a lot of stuff. We have to... We have to go for Brule here, actually. Cards the deck. Seven. We're at... Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We have two up. We'll throw it with you all top life. You on top. Same thing as always. Yep. Then we'll deploy. Then we'll deploy. In turn. Actually, no. Yeah, swing. Duh. Duh. Yep. And now, now we've put the hurt on him. He's gone through two red rocks already. What is what else could he be cooking up? If he swings life, we take it and go in the Prospero. Okay, blocker. That is the correct play against yellow. Yellow makes big bodies, but doesn't like get the most value. Like it's not like it's not gonna rush you down with them. It's just playing big bodies for the sake of playing big bodies. So theoretically, you can just play enough blockers. Red will eventually lose first if they don't just see 400 big moms, which we saw two, two big moms. What is it? Three Katakuri? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Three Katakuri. Yeah. Crazy. If he tries to swing uh, with everything on Katakuri, we, we just block with Brule. Let's 
Okay, yep, recursion. Add one, throw Brock Pirates type character. What does he put in? Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually going to be a little annoying. Two, three. Let's see. We want to keep three up so we can get another swing with pudding. Three. Leaves us with four up. All right, sorry about that. Uh, tack, we'll just swing into here. We're going to view our opponents. We're going to be our top life again. We're going to leave it on the top. He could legitimately guard this. He did legitimately guard this. Huh. All right, we'll put one here and we'll attack into it again. He'll give me the Trafalgar Law. And we'll swing into it again. He could guard this too. It would be pretty insane if he did though. Okay, of course. And I kind of just want to go Thunderbolt kill the blocker, but it's not worth it. So we just... We just end turn, yeah. Leave two up, maybe freak him out, think we have some sort of thing. I'm going to big mom him again next turn. Katakuri may die this turn if he's if he has like anything, anything. Mihawk, put the blocker back. Yep, uh, Katakuri is pro. Well, no, he doesn't have enough attack if he does that. Yeah. Hmm. Two to five hundred. Uh, yeah, no blocker. It resolves. It is dead. Fair enough. One mana up. Blocker. Wow. Holy shit. Got to deploy that. And we just. I think we just throw face here. Yep. That's good to know. This isn't a guard card in hand, because he would have guarded with it if it was. In turn. In such a bad spot. He's in such a bad spot. Okay, what's he throwing us with? What's he throwing at us? Eight to eight. Uh, can we even... We don't have guard value. That's fine. Actually resolves. Can't do much about that. Jinbei! Oh, yeah. K 
Okay. Crazy, crazy. Eight or less. Doesn't hit Mihawk. Hits Jinbei, though. We will discard this. And do we keep the eight drop in hand? Seven, seven. We could just play our entire hand here. No, we, we do keep the eight drop because we can put the Shirahoshi back. Actually toxic. Walker Law. Draw a card. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. We go 8 at life, play Katakuri, put Shirahoshi back, swing 12 at Mihawk. Step 5, it's the same card it always was. It would be really funny if we put the uh, Big Mom back on top deck so he swings into it and I get to play it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, trigger. Neat. If he actually removes the Shirahoshi, that would be mildly annoying. It's not like it matters too, too much. Yeah, I'm just going to win him. Swing at me, Hawk here. He blocks either way. Really appreciate you doing these live videos. Thank you. I know it's not too exciting here at the end here when I'm just playing One Piece. But I really do have fun with this. <laughs> you can't do anything. I'm just... I'm perpetually gaining life and playing big bodies. He failed his chance to pressure me earlier. Because I just... I had, like... I had removal when I needed it. Yeah. And next turn, I... I, I throw out a blocker and just everything. Prana. Genuinely, if this goes on long enough, we go to deck out and I win. That's like another win con that's kind of crazy. Hmm. What do you got? It's really interesting, uh, just complete different pay tones of the game. He is fighting for his life at every given opportunity, and I'm just playing the most casual game of my life. And it, like, if he if he attacks me directly here, which he kind of really want, he has to do eventually. I dig for the other like the last big bomb in my deck. You moved one. Because there's still one more in there. Ooh, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, no blocker. Good job, you got my big mom. Now you have to play a blocker or you die. He has to play a blocker here. No blocker, resolve attack, use trigger effect. Ooh! Oh, this card Prospero. And Cracker. Oh, oh yeah, you can see it's fair enough. Uh, yep. I'm going to call it here for tonight. This was a good stream. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you want to watch the uh, the replay of the stream, it'll be uploaded to my second channel uh, when, I, when I have time to do that. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time.